No. Oh, hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Surprise, Jennifer, we're live. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't even know if our countdown went on. All uh, It was really weird what was happening on my end, what I was seeing. Super Anyways, glitchy. We're, here. we're on time. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Good morning. How are you all today? Oh. I have had a good morning already, and I'm expecting a repair, guys. So I really hope I can stay on to chat with you, ladies. But um, I might have to pop off unexpectedly. All good, all good. But yeah, so welcome to Friday with Friends, everyone. Another Friday. I just can't believe, and you know, every time we do this, I can't believe how long we've been doing this in a good way, not a. I know, isn't it so much fun? I never. Yeah. Thought about it. I just can't believe like November to like, it's been like six months. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, and we, yeah. And we continue to have these amazing guests on. Um, yeah. So um, I'm just going to start quickly introducing myself in case I have to pop off. <laughs> um, I am Charlene. Welcome to Friday with friends. And uh, I'm so excited to be here for another week. I am from Grand Prairie, Alberta, which is Northern Alberta. We are losing our snow again, which is fantastic. <laughs> um, we did get another little dump the other day, but it's supposed to be so nice over the weekend. Anyways, I got six kids and I have a bonus daughter, my stepdaughter. She um, lives about four hours away from us. And then the other six are still at home. I am a homeschooling mom and I am celebrating uh, this month, three years joined. Uh, three years ago, I joined our business community, and then um, next month will be three years I actually joined the business. So, um, yeah. So that's a little bit about me in a nutshell. Take it away, Jennifer. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, wherever you're watching from live and catching the replay. Um, my name is Jennifer. I am also from Northern Alberta. I live about half an hour from Charlene. And uh, we met at the park a couple of years ago and we hit it off. We're like sisters from other misters. Right. <laughs> we truly are. We have so much in common. It is unbelievable. And I'm incredibly grateful for her in my mm -hmm. life. And I'm a homeschooling mom as well. We have two adult children and a school age son. And almost a boatload of grandkids. <laughs> And it's all good. We love spending so much time with them and just really designing our days the way that we see fit. And that's why we do what we do here um, with our businesses. It allows us to have that time with our family and really customize our days. And isn't that what life's all about? Yeah. Who wants to work and work and work and then pay your bills and pay your bills and pay your bills and then die? Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> we want to live while we're here, right? So that's why we're here. I mean, we used to run on that hamster wheel for years and uh, didn't get us any further ahead. And we had to make a change and it had to start with us. So that's where it all started. And I got the pleasure to meet Kemi at the beginning of this year, beginning of 2022, in our, in our communication chat. Uh, she put out a, a shout out to anybody that wanted to do um, the magic, which is a 28 day practice of gratitude. And she wanted some fellow community members to join her because she was wanting to do that. And I, I said, yes, of course. And then there was a few of us that did it. And we, we met every week and it was so much fun. And we did that for the month and then we've kept in touch since. So I asked her if she wanted to come on and share her story with us as a business owner. So go ahead, Kemi, introduce yourself a bit. Hi, everyone. Hope everyone is good. Um, well, as I'm looking out through my window over here, we're having a snow. Oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, it's a serious one because I'm in Alberta as well, but I'm in Southern. I'm not in Northern. Well, should I say? I don't know where Cal. I'm close to Calgary, so I'm in Edry, Alberta. So I'm guessing that's South. And it is pretty, just like the other day. And <gasps> I'm not very happy because where is the Spring. We need the spring. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to share some sunshine. We'll start blowing a little your way. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> so, but yeah, so my name is Kemi and um, I started this business about two years ago. Um, about, and I have a toddler 
who is a very active, very active little one. I had to run this morning to quickly go drop her at daycare so I can get to this. We, we can have this in peace, <laughs> you know, but yes. Uh, so that's me in a nutshell. We we don't know what peace is on Fridays. I've had my kids walk in. We've had one walk in shirtless. Like we've got cats in the background all the time. There's probably going to be one climbing on my shoulder at some point. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, we are definitely a go with the flow kind of uh, go live in our Friday mornings because I mean that's literally our life. We never know what's going to happen from minute to minute, and it's the same way in our business. I mean. We could be set on one thing, doing a project or a task, and something comes up and we have to divert yeah. to something else needs our attention more at that time. But that's the beauty of it. Yeah, yeah. and it shows, it shows our audience, you know, and um, those watching us and following our journeys, this is us. That's true. It's real. There's no, there's no faking cats on my shoulder. Like I'm That's not a true. pirate. Like, <laughs> but um, uh, I wanted to say, Jennifer, you were talking earlier about, um, you know, paying bills and working until you die, and um, you hear so often people say you only live once, but you don't. Yeah. Every single day that you wake up, you are living, and That's you true. have a choice on how to live. But you die once. That's so true. when you die what regrets are you going to have? What have you done with your life? Um, you know, at the end of this journey, are you going to end it where you want or where you wish you had been, you know, yeah. like what choice are you going to make when you wake up today? And I'm yeah. choosing every single day to, to end my journey, no matter what day it is, if it's tomorrow or 20 years from now, or yeah, I live to 180, yeah. not likely, but you know, um <laughs> like i i'm really choosing to end my journey um the way that i want and live my life and my story the way that i want yeah i was reading a study not too long ago and it, i mean probably other people have read it as well and they were they were doing a study with elderly people and they were asking them what was their number one regret nearing the end of their life and the majority of them said not doing the thing like whatever their thing was was not doing their thing and i look back like on people that i know personally that have passed and kind of like their stories their journeys and that was a pivotal turning point in our personal journey was we wanted to do the thing you sure. know sure. no matter what age you are yeah. Exactly. Don't procrastinate because tomorrow's not promised. Yeah. And yeah. it's very important for sure because I mean doing what you want. I know it can be hard. Life goes in the way, life everybody worries about it. But honestly, doing what you enjoy, mm -hmm. it, it makes a huge difference. You yeah. put more effort into it. You really try, you really make that effort to go into it. Yes, it can be hard, but yeah. it's just trying to do what you want and you know what you have a story everybody yeah. has a story somewhere so it's better to just do what you enjoy yeah. than to die unhappy right yeah, so. and if we, you can find some, yeah if you can find something that complements it mm -hmm. you know to allows you to do all of it yeah. rather than just like the straight and narrow path that we're taught from yeah. you know we little kids you know oh what do you want to be when you grow up well, i want to be this Okay, well, now you've got to do this, this, and this, so you can follow that path for the rest of your life. But how many of us are actually doing what we wanted to do when we were little girls? Well, I mean, in, in kindergarten, in kindergarten, I said, and I have the scrapbook for proof somewhere, I wanted to be a mom. <laughs> Well, my aspirations were super high. <laughs> <laughs> and you are. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's... Um, you know, I so I volunteer on our training site committee in the back end, and we last month or anyways recently reviewed one of the videos that's going up into the training site. And one of our uh, members, she recorded this video, and in this video, she said, Your story within your story. Yeah. I was like, I love that. Yeah. I love how she, yeah, she, your story within your story. So you have this entire journey from start to finish, and there's so many different chapters. You know, there's, you know, your childhood, your adulthood, there's your first job, your second job. Your, every single day is a new story within your story. Yeah. 
It's something new. It's something um, refreshing to put in your memory bank. It's something that you, you know, you pass on to your children. It's, it's so incredible to, to have an opportunity um, through this business to really relish in that and live in the moment and to really value our stories and ourselves and our, our path forward. And um, that legacy that we're leaving all of us here on the screen, our moms, that legacy that we're leaving for our kids is, I mean, I've never had that so forefront in my mind as I have since I started this business. I couldn't agree with you more. Same. Yeah, I agree. Like this business, I mean, um, for me, it's been a challenge to be able to do this business with a full time job as well. And um, try, but nevertheless, you just have to be determined not to give up. Right. And um, but like you said, since I started this business, I haven't looked back. I've said as long as it takes me, I yeah. will work right and it's all about that determination yeah i i was very much when i came into this business i was very much in the mindset of um so all of our stuff gets wrecked we have six kids we have had dogs we've had cats we've got you know everything under the sun in our house and so we are very much under the mindset in our house if it lasts a year the tv the fridge whatever our luck is so bad our washer just broke down and my husband his first question was has it been a year? <laughs> yeah, it's been over a year, you know. But um, so this business, when going in, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a year. I'm going to give it a year. But the minute that I joined this community and I got in and I got to see what this was all about, um, my mindset very much switched to if it takes me 10 years, I'm still not working for the next 30, 35 years to retirement. If it takes me five years, I'm even that much more. If it takes me 20, again, I'm still not working until I'm 30 years at, or retirement at 60 years. And um, and I, we see it every day. We see it. It's not going to take 20 years. Yeah. It, yeah. You know, it, it might not even take the 10. Like I've yeah. heard a couple of people come in and say, this is my, when they do their coaching calls, their strategy calls, when they talk to their mentees, this is your five-year plan. Sure. Look at this as a, this isn't to get rich overnight. We're not here to tell you that um, yesterday I signed up and today I'm a millionaire. You know, yeah. that's not how this works. We put effort in, we show up to our business every day. We show up to our community and our teams and our mentees. And, um, and it really, truly, it, it takes some time, but it really, truly works. And it works a heck of a lot quicker than going to that nine to five and working for somebody else. And the yes. amount of support that we uh, that we have here is, I mean, I've never had the amount of support in any job yeah. or position that I've been in up until now. And it's yeah. not even people that we're directly associated with. Yes, they are there, but we have a whole community. I mean, you two ladies here, we're not even directly connected, and mm -hmm. we support each other in ways that, you know, it's... It's pretty amazing the amount of support that comes from, you know, just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, yeah. God places the people that he sees fit in our lives for a reason. And I truly believe that. Like every single relationship I've developed over the past four years of being in this business has been a blessing in one way or another. It really has. And I agree with you because, I mean, like I said, two years, I've not done so much in the first year because it's been crazy busy. Um, but what keeps me going is the support, the support in this community. Um, like, I mean, like you said, Jennifer, I met you just through one of our business, well, our business communication, right? So yeah. I've never met you in person, but we have interacted so much. Yeah. Even getting advice, working together on some things. I've asked you questions. So, you know, those support alone just keeps you going. Yeah. They're not to talk of the training. The training uh, yeah. is amazing because that alone, you're paying almost $10,000, if not more, if you're going to have to do it outside. Yeah. And we're getting everything on the tip of our fingers. Honestly, that's just, um, I can't even say how much that is. Then um, the challenges in terms of like being grateful, you know, the mindset. Yes, that's a word. Mindset. The mindset that this community gives with the support. Um, I don't think you can get it anywhere. 
right? So, I mean, before coming into this community, I thought, oh, I had a very good positive mindset till I came into this community. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> they got a little bit of work to do. <laughs> You're not the only one that's felt that way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, I so. like, um, there was a quote that was floating around. I always bring this up. There was a quote that floated around the community um, at one point, And it was, I, what was, oh, I always forget it when I bring it up on this slide. Um, basically, like, I can't compete against you. I want you to win too. Sure. And it's 100% um, like the epitome of our business is yeah. support. And, you know, making sure that Jennifer succeeds and Kimmy succeeds and, you know, um, Jennifer in the comments, making sure she succeeds. And, you know, we are all absolutely 110% here for one another and there's no competition. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're all out here. We're all doing the same thing. We're all advertising. We're all, you know, on these various platforms and these have these multiple income streams coming in, but there's not a lick of competition. No. Yeah, and I've I've worked in insurance. I mean, that to me is like, it's it's crazy because when I worked in insurance, it was you know it was very cutthroat. People were right against each other constantly, and to have so many like hundreds of thousands of people in this community all vying for each other, it's unlike anything I've ever seen. Yeah, and when you have that many people supporting you and cheering you on. Mm -hmm. Like, how powerful is that? How uplifting is that? How inspiring is that when you have, like, literally thousands of people rooting for you in your corner? Yeah. Like, you don't really get that anywhere else, to be honest. Yeah. Like, even if we have a lot of people in our own family, in our own circle, we don't get that. Not every, <laughs> not everybody is cheering us on. Yeah. Everybody's <laughs> supporting us. Like, to be quite frank, that's honestly the way it is, you know? But when you have people, they're complete strangers at first. We don't know anybody in this community at the beginning when we first joined the first day. We yeah. don't. But we build those relationships, and that's what it's about. That's true. I agree. Yeah. And everybody we meet is so real. We, uh, Jennifer and I are actually meeting with a group of ladies tomorrow. And, um, you know, we get together about once a month. And um, tomorrow we've decided that we're going to create vision boards together. So we're meeting at the library in a space and, um, and you know, creating a vision board. And, and it's always great because, um, I don't know, I just feel like my circle was like here, you know, and now my circle is like, and it's just, it's like a continuous infinity loop. Like it just yeah. keeps growing, you know, and um i love yeah i love the relationships we've made i love our meetups every month it's probably the only time i actually get out with adults <laughs> um and my kids are so supportive of they're like don't no, go mom go it's fine go yes, yes. you know toddlers yeah, crying yeah. it's good. we got him go go <laughs> <laughs> you need that yeah and they love this business and they 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 see the difference that it's made in me as a mom me as a person um, and they know the difference it's made in them too. So, yeah, it's really, it's really, it's yeah. that respect. <laughs> After being in the business and being a business owner for two years, Cammy, how, what is the biggest thing that you've noticed within yourself that you, that like your growth or something that you noticed personally, um, where you were at the beginning to where you are now, something that has been a significant change within yourself. I'll say, like, like you said earlier, the mindset was yeah. a really big one. I mean, now I try, I do the, the well, I used to do the Miracle morn, Morning, but it's quite long sometimes with my own schedule. But I do my gratitude journal every single day without fail. And that has been a, a change from the beginning till yeah. now, right? Yes, we do, we are making money. I mean, the main reason we are here is to make that money, right? Mm -hmm. But without all this extra different, um, what will I say, connections, mm -hmm. it's it's no use because you are you are fighting if you're doing it by yourself. Because as the saying goes, you go far when you're with people than when you're by yourself right yeah. so just having this community someone to talk to someone to 
question, that's also been a good thing yeah. in this business. And honestly, you do go a l very far with that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. When do you uh, when do you happen to spend the most time on your business with a toddler and a full time job? I know most of my stuff is done like when they're sleeping. <laughs> it is tough because <laughs> that's what I was just saying for with another group because I have another group that I, I meet regularly with. And um, recently we've been doing some go lives and I was like, yeah, it's been <laughs> a tough one. <laughs> that's why two years I haven't done much. Because in the mornings, I'm like, I'm going to sleep in. I would wake up. Uh, then I come home. By the time I get a toddler to bed, it's almost like 8, 9, p 9 p.m. And I want to get ready for the day. By the time I sit down, I'm already like dozing off. So, <laughs> it was tough. So at the yeah. beginning of the year, when I met with Jennifer, I think we kind of talked about it. I'm like, you know what? I think my this year, I'm going to be waking up at 5 a.m. So I'll say... I've been doing at least 80%, waking up at 5 a.m. When she sleeps through the night, we're still having, we're having sleep regressions right now. So uh, it's a little bit of a kicker. <laughs> you know? I, I have an 18 month old that doesn't sleep through the night. I get um, it. Yeah. She's just two, <laughs> just, she's, yeah, just two and a half. So. Yeah. so yeah, so right now I try my best, wake up at 5 a.m. Do like, I do about an hour, an hour, if I can manage an hour and a half or an hour 15. So I'll do both my, my gratitude as well as at least work a little bit on my business. Mm -hmm. Then when I do get a little bit of chance in the evening, if I'm, if I'm awake, yes, I would work on it. So it's a lot slower than most, but hey, at least I'm not giving up. And that's, that's my own commitment to myself. Yeah. Right? I think yeah. the important thing to take away from that is you're still here. Yes. And you're yeah, still exactly. here. And you know what? Even those days where you can only put in a little bit, you've put in something. Sure. And we have this incredible business that works like that. Like it's flexible enough that you can put in as little or as much as you can every single day. That's um, I know like with us, we homeschool and um, we have, I have a daughter that I run to and from appointments and my repair guy is here. So I might have to go for a minute. Um, but, um, you know, and then the toddler and the sleep and all our activities and stuff. And yeah, it's, it's incredible that we can actually, you know, if I have five minutes to sit down and check on ads, that is what I do. If I have five minutes to quickly create a post, then I, you know, five minutes to create a post. Yeah. And it's absolutely whenever I want it to be. Yes. You know, yeah. which That's is huge for me. Yeah. And as a busy mom, sometimes we need to take five in the bathroom. <laughs> so you take <laughs> your phone with you. <laughs> you know, you, mean, you don't necessarily have to be going to the bathroom, but you could say you're in the bathroom. Exactly. I know. And just take that, take that time. Like I have literally done that myself. Like I just mm. needed to check out for a couple minutes and I use I use the bathroom as like my safe place. So I wish I could. Right now I have the toddler that follows me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so she's still at that stage. She follows me into the bathroom. <laughs> Even if you close uh, the door, she's still peeking underneath. Oh my God. Yes. Always kicking. Always like if I lock it, I, why did I lock it? So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but, it's, it's, is the it's fun. wonderful. But then she she's going to learn new things too, because we noticed that with our kids. So us as business owners and entrepreneurs, um, we're noticing with our children, they are picking up on skills that they probably wouldn't have picked up on if we were not entrepreneurs ourselves. That's true. And so we're teaching our kids new things too, right? Yes. So it's not just about us. It's about them too. About them. And they see what you're doing. They want to yeah. join in. Um, yes, my phone now, she knows how to operate it more than I do. <laughs> so yeah, so you do, they, they are picking a lot of things. They want to take pictures as well. Right. Yeah. So that's a fun bit. Yeah. And I think it help, also helps them to develop. Like I see my son have more confidence in himself True. than, you know, because you like for my own self, when I started this business, I wasn't a big selfie person. I wasn't. I was actually very timid on video. 
Um, it, I used to be like the queen of probably recording 20 or 30 videos just yeah. to find one that I somewhat like. Okay. And then I would post it. Now I can hop on and do a go live. And exactly. I have that confidence in myself. So exactly. it's built that confidence. And then I see that in my son too. That's you know? true. That's true. I agree. You know, and honestly, you see that the confidence that is building and is also helping the kids is also helping you. And um, yeah, there's a lot to learn in terms of social media. But you know what? That's the beauty of this business, right? That's the beauty of yourself that you also learn and the kids will pick it up very quickly as well. Right. My kids and, actually teach me how to use like TikTok and stuff. My kids actually like I'm like, hey, I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> that's my sister <laughs> she does that to me. she's younger than me so she knows yeah. a lot more <laughs> yeah and we can pick the platforms that we are comfortable with that we like you know that's true. We're, we have the choice to yes. be able to do that you know we're not just limited to one or two we no. have like a multitude of different platforms that we can use advertise on that we can be present on to build our social media presence you know that's true. Whatever we're comfortable with, like, that's what I always tell my business partners. Find something you're comfortable with and master it. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. you know, you have the option. You can strictly photo story. You know, you can do video if you're comfortable yes. with it. Like, there's there's just so many different yeah. things out there. And the internet is evolving at such a rapid rate um, that the options are just endless. <laughs> And you can decide what you want to do, where, yeah. how you want to start, you know. Yeah. So, and if you're like me, you don't have to be creative <laughs> to be out there. You can, you know, you they've got all these filters now, and you can mimic yep. things, and it's perfect. I agree. <laughs> but that's also the beauty of attraction marketing is being yourself. Yes. Right? Yes. When we're a hundred percent ourselves, we're the most beautiful we can be. You that's don't need true. the filters and the, you know, all the fancy stuff. Yes. And that's, that's what I love. But I had to grow to love myself before hmm. I could put myself out there. That was a huge thing for myself is I had things about myself that I had to work on. And this business actually pushed me. Oh, it does. To work on them. Yes. Yeah. It does push you to the limit for you to look at and just like, don't care about what anybody says. And I think there's something I hear a lot in this community is do not care about the next person. And it's not a race. No. It's your own race. It's so definitely. don't look at someone else's to try and be like them, right? Yes, there's that support, but don't run your own race. Don't yeah. follow them. Yeah. So it's definitely helped me to develop thicker skin and boundaries. That's for sure. Yes. It's, it's definitely something you hear often. Don't compare yourself to others, which can yeah. be really hard. But, um, you know, I just did a post um, the other day with my son who's learning to ride a bike and, you know, he's six and he's just finally getting the confidence to try to ride a two wheeler. So he picked out a two wheeler and in that post, um, you know, I kind of said, like, all my other kids were doing it before the age of four. Mm -hmm. But this is his journey. This yeah. is his story. This, you know, um, and it's the same for us in business. This yeah. is my story. That's your story. It's, you know, we each have this different journey. And even if we're on the exact same path as somebody else, our lives are different. And our lives affect our business differently. That's yeah. true. You know, and I think that's a hard thing to um, wrap your mind around, too, because you see people, you know, accomplishing things that you want to do or, you know, maybe they are watching you accomplish something that they want to do and yeah. all in your own time, that's you know, true. when it's meant to happen, when you're ready for it to happen, it will happen. Yes, for sure. For sure. Oh. And honestly, um, you know, with what you're saying, when it's meant to happen, it would happen. And, uh, you know, it's something that you should just look at. 
um, think about it's just me, it's my race, it's no nobody's own, right? And the fact that you're able to challenge yourself, set set more goals for yourself, right? <laughs> you know, it allows you to decide how you want to run your business. That's why it's called a business, right? Um, you want to be, you might want to set a goal, you might want to set a challenge for yourself, but you know it's yourself, it's your own challenge. But then you get the, you have the support from the community, mm -hmm. right? And the fact that you have ideas, you like you said, um, Charlene, you don't have to start from from scratch. I I'm really bad. I'm not creative at all. <laughs> you know, I'm not creative. But this business really has helped me because you see everybody else's ideas and you say, okay, how can I make it my own? To be yours. And honestly, it takes a while. But it does. It does happen, right? So. Yeah. What's with your brand, though? Like, your brand is always changing. Your experience level is always changing. We're always learning. Every week we get together with our, you know, our community of business owners, and we learn something. And it's usually something we can take back and apply to our businesses, whether it's the creative side or the business side or whatever. So, um we're just always learning and there's always something new evolving and the internet changes every day. I swear Facebook is like weekly. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice to have, it's nice to not have to do all that research on our own as well, you know, because the training site is continuously evolving with it um, and giving us those tools so we just have so many pools to draw from for resources, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. which is fun. But at the same time, you know, you've got to remember not to compare yourself to others. But at the same time, you also have to remember to not listen to everybody on the outside. That's true. You know, yeah. so it's kind of a sometimes it's a hard balance to find. But the edge <laughs> yeah. 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 And rather than comparing yourself, you allow allow those other people that are inspiring you ar around you to give you that push right yeah. within your own self because you know you you know within yourself you can do it you can do yeah. anything you want so anything that you put your mind to you can do it yeah. and if the other people around you are doing it the only yeah. thing that's stopping you is yourself that's so true. use that as a push to push yourself in the direction you want to go right that's true yeah yeah, what it, what does our founder always say? Get out of your own way. Yeah. <laughs> very true. But it's also very hard for people. Like your mind is a very powerful part of your body and it really likes to uh like it's something. really hard to overcome that self doubt yeah. and mm. questioning yourself. And especially, you know, I didn't grow up with the most supportive environment behind me in life in any means. And so, you know, what? It, when they say um, you know, it takes like 100 positives to overcome one negative. I mean, when you have a lifetime of criticism and sarcasm and whatever, you know, people yeah. go through, when you have a lifetime of that to overcome, it takes time yeah. and it's a process, but yeah. it's it, it can happen. You just have to choose, you know, today's the day that I'm going to start, right? Yes, exactly. exactly. You know, every day is a new day for a new you. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. yeah. Well, we've hit like our half hour mark. Oh, <laughs> and Jack just joined. Hello, Jack. I hope you're having a good day, Jack. Um, one of the things that I usually ask people before we hop off is, um, for everybody out there feeling stuck in life, whether it's love, business, whatever, um, what would your advice be to somebody who's watching today feeling stuck in their life? I would say for me, if you, if anyone is feeling stuck, I would say take time out for yourself. Step back. Um, honestly, I would say write down about five things that you think has been good. That's why you feel stuck. What has been good in your life? What it, it, what has been, what is, what who do you love that you think that, you know, that you, you know, write it down, write down five positive things. Who do you care about? What you care about them? Or what have you done 
that you feel that is been good, that you are very good at. Start with that. Just do that for a week and then just see how it goes. It's hard. And, but yeah, and, go and appreciate the little things too, right? Like even if it was, I got up and I made my bed today. Exactly. Give yourself a pat on the back, you know, um, whatever it is. You got out of bed. Yeah. That's fantastic for some That's people. Yes. You know, so I completely agree. I love that. Kemi, thank you. <laughs> well, it was wonderful sharing the morning with you, Kemi, and thank you for coming on with us. Yeah, thank you. This was really yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we're going to wrap it up, and we hope everyone enjoys their weekend ahead, and uh, take care. You and too. I don't even know, like, We'll send some sunshine your way, Kenny. <laughs> I please send because it's still snowing. Oh my god, I can't believe it's spring. But like you said, I have a sunshine in my heart. Yeah, so that's the best thing. Bring your own sunshine. Exactly. <laughs> I will have a good weekend, everyone, and happy Earth Day today too. It's Earth I Day. Know. Yeah, um, so I'm going to take my kids and we're going to go outside and we're going to appreciate the earth today. Please uh, do. We appreciate it every day. We love nature. Yes. Um, yeah, so actually, you know, I will challenge all of you out there, even if it's snowing, mm -hmm. take a few moments, go outside and just appreciate the beauty that is out there and around you. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next week. And you too. Have a blessed weekend ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.